Another demonstration underway. It started in Niagara Square. Our team coverage on this story continues now with 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller. She's live downtown tonight. Hannah, bring us up to date. Yeah, and Keith, just moments ago, hundreds of protesters that were gathered here in Niagara Square, they gathered here, they're protesting police brutality, protesting what happened here outside of City Hall last night, protesting the death of George Floyd. Those protesters left, they walked up Delaware Avenue, and now they are slowly starting to once again gather here in the square. But moments ago, we heard from Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown, who said he is not calling for the officers in this case to be fired at this point, but believes there needs to be a full investigation into what happened. He says the 75 year old man was asked to leave multiple times after curfew last night. It's video that's been viewed around the globe, captured by a WBFO reporter in Buffalo as curfew arrives Thursday night. The fallout has two Buffalo police officers suspended without pay and the governor calling for their jobs. It's 8.15 p.m. in front of Buffalo City Hall, a group of protesters on one side, police moving in on the other. You see this man who has been identified as 75-year-old activist Martin Gugino walk up and say something to police. He has a helmet in his hand. You then see a Buffalo police officer who the I team has learned is Aaron Torgalski push the man to the ground with his hand. He can be seen bleeding from one ear. Buffalo police initially reported the incident to be a skirmish between officers and protesters and that he quote tripped and fell. But then video surfaced and two hours later Buffalo Commissioner Byron Lockwood suspended the two officers involved without pay. Uh, he should not have been pushed uh, that push. Uh, caused him to fall backwards and strike his head. You can see here Officer Togalski is wearing his department-issued body camera, but it is unclear if it was turned on and recording. The Buffalo Police Union lawyer says he will look at circumstances surrounding this incident. Social media erupted after the video surfaced, and many, like Erie County Executive Mark Polencars, are calling for the removal of the officers. Yes, they need to be held responsible for their actions, not just firing. I think termination is appropriate. We also know Erie County District Attorney John Flynn is now investigating. I believe the district attorney is going to do the right thing and move forward with the prosecution. You are looking live now at a demonstration, a protest that has broken out here in Niagara Square in downtown Buffalo. Many people here holding signs that say, don't push me. Now, moments ago, we received a statement from the attorney for the 75-year-old man, Mr. Martin Gugino. I want to read that to you here live on the air. It says, Mr. Gugino has been a longtime peaceful protester, human rights activist, and overall fan of the United States Constitution for many years. At this time, Mr. Gugino is in serious but stable condition. He is alert and oriented. Mr. Gugino respects his privacy for himself and his family and, of course, appreciates all of the well wishes received. He also hopes and wishes, has a request that any further protests continue to be peaceful here in Buffalo. We are live in downtown Buffalo tonight in Niagara Square. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.